Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Myers. I'm a New York Times bestselling author and founder and medical director of Austin Ultra Health. Today, I want to answer one question that I hear all the time, which is, which probiotic is best if you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth? You might be surprised to learn that if you have SIBO, that the probiotics that you're currently taking could actually be adding more fuel to the fire. So let's take a look at why most probiotics are problematic for those with SIBO and which ones are best. When you have an overgrowth of bacteria in your small intestines, it's typically a strain of lactobacillus bacteria causing this overgrowth. Lactobacillus strains have been studied extensively and are generally considered to be good bacteria for your gut because of all of their health benefits. That's why lactobacillus is included in virtually all probiotic supplements and foods like yogurt and kefir. They're also included in two of my most popular probiotics that I carry in my store, my 30 billion and my 100 billion unit probiotics. However, when lactobacillus overgrows in the small intestines, it's a case of too much of a good thing can actually be a bad thing. And so taking a probiotic with lactobacillus in it can actually add more fuel to the fire. In fact, having a poor reaction to a lactobacillus-based probiotic is a clue that you may have SIBO. So if you're dealing with SIBO and you're taking a probiotic to help restore your gut's natural balance and you're actually feeling worse, this may actually be why. And it's why I recommend that anyone dealing with bacterial overgrowth or SIBO stick with a soil-based probiotic. Now, unlike most probiotics, soil-based probiotics do not include any lactobacillus strains of bacteria. Instead, they contain strains of bacteria that create a harsh environment for those pathogenic or overgrowth of bacteria. Another reason that soil-based probiotics are often better for people with SIBO is that they're also dealing with issues such as Hashimoto's and other autoimmune conditions. And Hashimoto's and SIBO actually have a chicken or the egg relationship, and the two often go hand in hand. This is because low thyroid levels can lead to constipation, which keeps bacteria trapped in your small intestines, allowing it to overgrow. And your gut is where 20% of your thyroid hormone is converted from its inactive to its active state. So if bacteria overgrows, this can disrupt that process, and you're more likely to have symptoms of a low thyroid. And of course, SIBO can lead to a leaky gut, which is a precursor to autoimmunity. This is why I see SIBO in a huge percentage of the patients that I see with any type of autoimmune condition, from lupus, to Hashimoto's, to rheumatoid arthritis, and everything in between. So what does this have to do with a soil-based probiotic? Well, some of the bacterial strains found in a soil-based probiotic can actually increase your levels of IgA, which is a type of immunoglobulin that is often low in autoimmune patients. By restoring levels of IgA, your immune system is able better to modulate its response to inflammation. And I've seen a positive effect on autoimmune and inflammatory markers simply by increasing IgA levels. Increasing these immunoglobulins also support to repair a leaky gut. So it's actually a twofold boost in your immune system by helping you overcome leaky gut. And as an added bonus, soil-based probiotics like my Primal Earth probiotic, which is the one I carry in my store, are extremely hardy and viable, so they don't need to be refrigerated. In fact, they have a seed-like structure that protects them from stomach acid, bile salts, and even digestive enzymes, so that the bacterial strains remain alive. And they can actually sense when the environment is safe for them to emerge and to begin to colonize your large intestine and your colon. So if you're dealing with SIBO or autoimmunity, or you suspect that you are, I hope that you found this video helpful and that it's helped clear up some confusion surrounding probiotics and SIBO. And if you're ready to learn more about gut health, make sure you're on my newsletter where you'll get free videos, articles, and recipes delivered to your inbox 
every week. All you need to do to sign up is head over to gutrecipes.com and you'll get 35 amazingly delicious recipes to repair your leaky gut delivered to your inbox. Thank you.